Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about tabletop RPGs. Now, tonight, I'm excited because we're bringing on Eric Schmidt. How are you doing, Eric Schmidt? I'm great, thanks for asking. Great. Now, now, Eric, you're on because you have launched a brand new website called Learn Tabletop RPGs. Now, now, how how long has this thing been in development? Because it's pretty interesting. Uh, well, it's actually <clears throat> the site's actually been been up for two years, uh, but I did an overhaul version, version four, uh, which launched uh, just a few days ago, and that's what's been getting all the attention. Is the the relaunched version, I sort of took a lot of what I had learned initially and plowed it into this new release, which took a, a few months to put together, actually. Oh, okay. So you moved it off of GeoCities. <laughs> Finally, I got the word. I'm always the last to know these things. Ah, uh, well, you know, it's, I'm sure that we can find the old version on the, uh, the Internet Archive, right? Yeah, it's probably in eWorld or somewhere, yeah. Now, so I'm curious, Eric, why on the... Why in the world would you start a, a, a site about learning tabletop RPGs? I mean, it's, it's so easy. It's just dice and 400-page and rule books and math and improvisation and storytelling and strategy and stuff. I mean, why, why would you even have to explain it? Yeah, well, your, your point notwithstanding, uh, I felt like there, there wasn't really a good central place um, for people to go who were interested in these games, maybe had heard about them, knew people who were into them but were... Um, maybe intimidated by some of the rules or sort of just intimidated by the insider lingo that uh, tabletop role players use. And that was really the genesis of the, of the idea. Jargon is how we keep all the normies out. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Actually, one of, the, uh, um, one of the nefarious purposes of the site is to, is to actually make role-playing or to help make role-playing more inclusive. Um, and I really mean that across the board. I mean that uh, I mean diversity in the broadest sense of the term when I say that. Um, I think that role playing offers so much and is, is such a great hobby. And I I just want to make it to accessible to uh, as accessible as possible to a wide range of, of people. And I think there's a lot. There are a lot of people who are doing that with their games and with blogs that they're running and all kinds of other things. And I'm just sort of trying to put my contribution out there. I, I am curious, you know, the new design, the site looks great. Uh, now, I imagine that you've had to afford a, a crack team of designers <laughs> and writers and, and staff, so you must have spent millions on this. Well, I, I economized by uh, just using myself. Um, I've been in the web development and software business for many, many years, and uh, I've done a lot with content, um, content-rich sites. And so um, I decided to just do it all myself. Um, and it's, um, but this version four is, is the one where I really decided to try to make it as professional as I could and sort of to live up to the um, same level of quality that I go for with uh, commercial stuff that I do, you know, on, on large projects for clients. Ah, well, I can tell that you definitely played a role in the design. Yeah, it was. It was um, part of part of it was that the earlier version was um, mm, well, it was a little more plain, a little more boring, and I wanted to make something a little bit more visually interesting this time around. And um, I wanted to make it as enticing as I could without um, bending reality too much. I mean, it's kind of one of those you know pictures of people rolling dice don't really tell you the story. They don't really express just how exciting role-playing can be. But I was, I was trying to sort of inject a little bit more enthusiasm into it than uh, visual enthusiasm than the, than the previous versions had. I noticed you've got a, a section called 36 Games, uh, where you've listed 36 games. I noticed that you've been a little exclusionary here. The frogpocalyptic game called Apocalypse Pond is not on the list! Well, there's, there are a lot of games that are not on the list, and actually the, uh, um, 
everybody who who takes interest in the site and looks through the who's who's already been playing games for a long time comes through and says, "Man, why did you put this game in? Why did you put that game in? Why did you not put this game in? Why did you not put that game in?" And actually, originally the title for the page was 36 of the best uh, role-playing games, and I um, switched that because um, part of the reason that I used the term best originally was because people search for that term all the time. Believe it or not, people are always out there looking for the best fantasy game or the best sci-fi game. And so that's a great way to bring in traffic for those folks and, and steer them towards interesting content. But I felt uncomfortable with that because it's not really about the best. It's about you know, that 36 is just a list of games that are they're interesting, they're in print or, or readily available. They're not, you know, telling somebody to go and, and play, like, first edition AD&D because that's the best version ever isn't really terribly helpful, you know. Um, and I also wanted to um, hit a broad range of genres, a broad range of um, mechanics, um, everything from, you know, D20 to uh, really heavily narrativist stuff. Um, and I wanted to sort of show the show the range, and I wanted to have hopefully something where even if you've been playing for a long time, you find one or two games that where you say I I didn't even I've only vaguely heard of this or I don't even know anything about it, and so you have a little bit of a surprise. So that was what I was going for. Okay, Eric, just between you and me, which one's your favorite? <laughs> well, um, that's really hard. Um, I'm get tonight. I'm going to be running uh, Nice Black Agent, and that's a cool game. I don't. I haven't been exposed to it enough to say that it's my favorite. My favorite recent game, actually, that we've played an awful lot of, actually, is um, Star Wars: Edge of the Empire. We really. I was totally surprised by that. I didn't. I did not expect it to be what it was. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's like you roll these funky dice, and then and then you stop for a little bit, and you look at them, and you count <laughs> it up. And you say, okay, I failed, but I have victory, so what does that mean? And then you have a discussion about it, and then there's there's a small argument, and someone goes out <laughs> to get Cheetos. This, 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 it's the best Star Wars game ever. <laughs> yeah, by some accounts. Uh, there are a lot of people who are really, really into the uh, East End Games version, which I never played, unfortunately. Oh, man, you're missing out. That, that well, That's That's what I've heard. Well, Eric, I, I, everyone has to go to your website because it's pretty fantastic. Do you have any plans for, like, is there a version 5, which is going to be 3D with Oculus Rift? <laughs> um, actually, one thing that I am doing is uh, I've, I've um, initiated the, the blog portion of the site uh, now with version 4, so I'll be adding some content to the blog. I'm not going to be doing heavy posting to that because I, I sort of try to make the posts pretty meaty and, um, you know, substantial, um, and also because I don't have as much time as I'd like for that. But I'm also adding, I have more games on the list. So it's 36 right now, but before too long it's going to be 40, and then hopefully before too long it'll be 44 and 48. We'll just keep on going. Oh, man, Warhopper 40K. Just keep your eyes out, Eric, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, Eric, I've got a serious question. I know it's game night for you, so before we let you go play Nice Black Agents... Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a serious question. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Eric. What is your favorite die type? Oh, man. That's right. I hit you with a hard-hitting one. Yes, man. You could... Hmm. You should be working for 60 minutes, man. That's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to have to go with percentile dice. I'm going to... I'm going to have to go with percentile dice. Oh, I, played a lot of, I played a lot of uh, basic role-playing and RuneQuest and all that over the years, and I just there's a soft spot in my heart for percentile. I want to tell you, thank you so much for coming on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, Eric. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs>